Ups couple facing felony child abuse charges after their baby landed in the hospital with broken bones. Reporter Alyssa Munoz followed up with the Lee County Sheriff's Office for updates on this case. Alyssa. Sasha, police say the baby boy has a long road ahead of him, not only because of the broken bones, but permanent brain damage. His six-year-old sister, who also lived in the home, tested positive for meth in her system. The chief deputy is saying this case is unlike others. This is probably one of the worst cases that I've seen of child abuse, physical child abuse. On January 12th, police arrested Brianna Hernandez and Dominic Martinez after hospital staff at Covenant Health Hobbs Hospital said that a baby boy showed signs of child abuse. Body cam footage shows police searching their house for evidence, and that's when they notice something in the playpen. Is that blood? And in the trash, a diaper and wipes. Yeah. It looks like there's blood on it, too. According to the criminal complaint, police spoke with a six-year-old daughter, and she told them when her brother wouldn't wake up, her mom and dad would throw water on him and mentioned she thought Malachi, her brother, was a dead body. Chief Deputy Chan Kim says both suspects also searched alarming things online. So there were searches like um, how to get rid of bruises quickly. Um, they researched uh, the number to the public defender's office. Uh, there are searches uh, for um, can a baby be um, held upside down. And so those were alarming to us. Hernandez told police she told Dominic everything would be okay as long as he's breathing and acting normal. When police questioned her about the bruises, she said Dominic was never like that. But now that she's putting two and two together, she thinks he did it. And she would never do that to any of her kids. However, police noted Hernandez didn't show any reaction or concern when hearing about the baby's injuries. Hernandez has been released from police custody on conditions. Some other conditions, I don't recall exactly what the, all the conditions were that the judge issued. Um, also, she is allowed uh, to visit the children, and those are only supervised from what I understand at this time. Dominic is still being held not only because of this child abuse charge in this case, but also because he revoked his conditions on a previous child abuse case during a domestic dispute in July. Reporting in studio, I'm Alyssa Munoz, KYT Action 7 News. Alyssa, thank you. Hernandez has other children besides the two that were living with her. We did reach out to CYFD to confirm if Hernandez is allowed to visit her children. They replied with the other children are safe.